far. Today we're on the seventh part of my commentary on Book of Aries. We'll be talking about the third work in the magic of essential meaning. This has to do with influencing through essential meaning. Now, <clears throat> the magic of essential meaning is not about power over, power over circumstances, people, things, etc. It's about power with. That's very different than power over. Power with, we're participating in the universe. We're not taking control, okay? So, the magic of essential meaning is essentially a very gentle magic. It influences. It doesn't outright change. It influences. Now, sometimes those influences can be quite dramatic. Nonetheless, these are influences. We're working with nature not over nature. Now, this work, the third work, is where you start putting all the things you've learned up to date, all the abilities you've gained, into action. Okay? We start doing something with the essential meaning. Changing, influencing objects, people, organisms, situations, etc. What I want you to start out with in this first experience with influencing through essential meaning is an object, uh, um, an amulet, or what I prefer is a quartz crystal. <clears throat> Now, what I recommend is getting yourself a sort of smallish, double-terminated quartz crystal. An unpolished, you want natural quartz crystal as opposed to a polished crystal. Polishing a crystal is like peeling off its skin. You alter the energetics of the crystal. Um, all crystals, especially double-terminated crystals, have a negative and a positive end. You can sense this immediately when you just look at a crystal, okay? Its essential meaning will tell you, I'm the negative end, I'm the positive end. Um, they have an energy flow. All crystals have energy flow. The double-terminated crystals are better at energy flow. Um, because they have a negative and a positive, defined negative and positive end. Um, just a regular quartz crystal that has been broken off of a cluster has a positive end and it has a, uh, a dead end, as it were. So, get yourself a nice quartz crystal. Anything of similar size will do, um, but it's better if it's a special object that you have a connection with, okay? So, <clears throat> we're going to insert an essential meaning into the quartz crystal. And again, quartz is best because it will accept, gladly accept anything we add to it, and it will be sort of a blank slate uh, in which we can observe the effects of the essential meaning that we project into it. So, I'm going to introduce you to three methods. <clears throat> One is a very basic method, second is a little more uh, complicated, and the third is the most advanced technique of all, and the most effective. So, <clears throat> to begin with, uh, yourself in a, your own little private space where you won't be disturbed. You need to have enough light in this space where you can make good visual contact connection with your object, in this case, quartz crystal. So, first off, you want to cleanse your object 
of any foreign influences. In this case, anything that is not, any energies that are not crystal. Ordinarily, a crystal will interact with the energies in its environment, so it always has some sort of foreign energy in it until you cleanse it. And you cleanse it very simply by washing some Catholic brilliance through it. Visualize it as water passing through it, but that water is the Catholic brilliance, okay? So pass some Catholic brilliance through it. Now, it's cleansed, doesn't have any foreign influences in it. Now you will take your, your essential meaning of choice. You want to have chosen this an, an essential meaning, a particulate essential meaning to impress on this quartz crystal, okay? So the first method is to generate, you know, <clears throat> accumulate that essential meaning a particular essential meaning in the way that you're familiar with by now, and project first some Catholic brilliance into the quartz crystal. Not washing through this time, but project it into the quartz crystal. What that does is it opens the quartz crystal. It makes it very susceptible to any influence that you are going to insert. And now that, that you have... Catholic Brilliance inside the crystal, project your accumulation of essential meaning into the crystal, okay? And see, feel uh, that essential meaning penetrating every part of this quartz crystal, mentally, astrally, and especially physically, okay? It's there with the Catholic brilliance inside this quartz crystal and influencing the, the whole structure of the quartz crystal. The quartz crystal adopts this essential meaning because of the presence of the Catholic brilliance. It will gladly adopt the essential meaning. Now let the Catholic brilliance dissipate and you have your crystal that has the new essential meaning in its being, okay? And you want to verify that. You want to be able to perceive the change in the quartz crystal. That essential meaning that you have impressed upon the quartz crystal must now be apparent, okay? You, this is a results-based experiment. You've got to get the result. If you don't get a result, if your essential meaning is not obvious in your crystal, keep working at it. Either change the essential meaning you're working with or increase your accumulation of essential meaning into the crystal. Between each experiment, you'll want to cleanse the quartz crystal again with the Catholic Brilliance, okay? like before. So that's the first technique. It's basically a simple projection of essential meaning into your object that you have already filled with the Catholic brilliance. Very simple. And not as effective as the next two techniques, but still effective. You should get a result. You must always have a result from what you are doing or repeat the process, okay? This is the first technique. The second technique I want to teach you is a bit different. So, <clears throat> you have your cleansed quartz crystal. You project, you know, a Catholic brilliance into it. You accumulate your essential meaning in yourself and then you shift your awareness into the crystal taking the accumulated essential meaning with you so now <clears throat> excuse me you stand within the quartz crystal with your accumulated essential meaning 
You're astramentally within the body of the quartz crystal with your essential meaning and you impress your essential meaning on the quartz crystal from the inside out. You're inside the crystal projecting your essential meaning into the body of the crystal. Mental, astral, and physical body of the crystal is transformed from the inside out and impressed with the essential meaning. Now, when you're done doing that, you step back out of the quartz crystal and let the Catholic brilliance dissipate. Now, your essential meaning should be even more strongly impressed upon the crystal than it was in the last technique. And again, you have to verify that the essential meaning is there within the crystal, you know, exerting its influence, expressing itself. Again, we're working with a particulate essential meaning. Okay? So, that's the second type of, uh, second technique of projecting yourself into the uh, quartz crystal along with the essential meaning, impressing it in that way from the inside out. Okay, the third technique is ultimately a little more difficult, but shouldn't be much more difficult for you at this point. What you want to do is again cleanse the quartz crystal, fill it with catheric brilliance, and as you're projecting the catheric brilliance into the quartz crystal, you want to project your awareness along with that catheric brilliance. That works very well because awareness attaches itself to the catheric brilliance readily. It's it's sort of like automatic. It wants to go in with the Catholic brilliance into the body of the quartz crystal and you see it opening up with the Catholic brilliance. You experience that opening up of the body of the quartz crystal mentally, astrally, and physically. It opens to your influence. Now, while you're there, you say hello to the quartz crystal from the inside and then accumulate your particulate essential meaning while you are inside the crystal with the Catholic brilliance. You accumulate essential meaning and it fills the crystal. It becomes part of the crystal at a mental, an astral, and a physical level. The crystal is transformed on all three levels simultaneously by you from the inside because of the accumulation of the essential meaning that you are developing. And in this way, you can accumulate as large a charge of this essential meaning as you wish. <clears throat> it's not just an accumulation that you are projecting. You are creating the accumulation from within the crystal. Okay? When you're done, you step back out of the crystal, leave the accumulation of essential meaning inside the crystal, and let the Catholic brilliance dissipate. And the uh, essential meaning should be quite obvious to you at that point. This is the technique that I use when I uh, attune any of my crystals in the magic, in the tools that I make. Okay? It's a very efficient method, guaranteed to produce results as long as you are capable of the transference of awareness and accumulation from within an object. So, <clears throat> practice that on your crystal. Practice with, you know, one type of essential meaning after another, the particulate essential meanings, so that you are able to 
uh, project any essential meaning, any particular essential meaning you choose into your quartz crystal. Then move on to other objects, different, uh, <clears throat> different inanimate objects, uh, plants, insects, animals, and then eventually humans. And you try to influence humans with your chosen particulate essential meaning. And again, you've got to get results each time you project um, an essential meaning into another object. If you don't see a result, keep trying until you do see a result. Okay, then after you've done that with particular essential meaning, you want to do this whole same process with composite essential meanings. Now, <clears throat> you've got to be careful through this process. You don't want to place an essential meaning into anything that the essential meaning will conflict with that object or persons or events or whatever. Um, essential meaning. Trying to create this conflict in essential meaning, it won't work. You can never create a conflict, but don't try. Okay? Try to choose essential meanings that will be compatible to the object, person, animal, plant, um, event, uh, situation, idea, etc., that you're working with. Okay? You always want to produce a harmonious transformation. These are the only, the only way that the magic of essential meaning works is in harmony with the object, person, idea, situation, etc., that you're working with. Okay. So, that's the third work in the magic of essential meaning. Okay. Next week we'll talk about the fourth work. So, happy influencing with essential meaning. Bye-bye.